welcome to jhide reddy <laughs> educational youtube channel hi students how are you fine so far i have completed two chapters heat and acids bases and salts today i have to start refraction of light at plane surfaces refraction of light at plane surfaces multiple charge part 1 okay i wish you all the best once again i wish you all the best so i request you please like share and subscribe to my channel okay shall we start today's section first bit on the screen which of the following is the snell's law snell's law a d you know that the according to snell's law n1 i n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r into sin r so it is the snell's law or another way it is written as n is equal to n is equal to sin i by sin r sin i by sin r not these two are the various forms of snell's law various forms of snell's so n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r or n is equal to sin i by sin r that is sin i by sin r is the constant so first if it is rearranged if it is rearranged then we get n1 by n2 is equal to sin r by sin i so option b is the correct answer very good then the refractive index of glass is with respect to air is given n is given it is refractive index of glass with respect to air n is given then the critical angle of glass interface area so critical angle kanukola what is the critical angle so what is the relation between refractive index and critical angle tell me yeah n is equal to sin c is equal to sin c is equal to so relation between critical angle and the refractive index is sin c is equal to 1 by n sin c is equal to 1 by n so that is equal to n is given 1 by 2 1 by n 2 is naru so sin c is equal to 1 by 2 for what value of angle sin value 1 by 2 tell me yeah it is 30 degrees sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 option c is correct very good then the total internal reflection takes place total internal reflection takes place when the light ray travels from dash to dash tell me yeah very good denser to rarer medium so there are two conditions to undergo total internal reflection first one is the light must travel from denser to rarer medium so light must travel from denser to rarer medium second one the angle of incident t is greater than the angle of critical angle angle of incident t is greater than the critical angle 
to the, these are the two conditions to undergo total lip, internal reflection. Then the angle of deviation produced by the glass slab. Angle of deviation. It is different between the incident angle and refracted angle. That is nothing but here it is zero degrees. Zero degrees. Then the process of changing of speed when light travels from one medium to another medium is Kanti Vakayana Kamunungo Gayana Kamulachi Paninchina Pudhu. Change of speed. Vadilo Marpu Vastundi, Vegamlo Marpu Vastundi. This process is known as Emterma. Yeah, very good. Refraction. Vakri Bhavnamu. Refraction Vakri Bhavnamu. Then speed of light of a medium depends upon the. Tell me, speed of light of a medium depends upon the Vyanakam Yoka. Vyanakamlo Kanti Vegamu Denipa Yadar Partundi. So optically. Optical density of the medium depends upon the optical density of the medium. Very good, Hans. Next question on the screen speed of light in vacuum. Speed of light in vacuum. Tell me, yeah, very good. It is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. It is in SI system. Suppose it is in given in. CGS system, 3 into 10 power 8 centimeter per second. Very good. Next question, absolute refractive index N value. So absolute refractive index N is equal to formula M. So absolute refractive index definition means it is the ratio of, it is the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in that medium. So, N and A, the refractive index so ratio of speed of light in the vacuum to the speed of light in the given medium. B, option D is correct. Very good. Then, refractive index of glass is 3 by 2. N value is It is N is given. Then, what is the speed of light in the glass? What is the speed of light in glass? So here n is equal to c by v, n is equal to c by v. You know that the refractive index is equal to c by v, c by v. So n is equal to given the 3 by 2 each in a row is equal to C value and the, you know that 3 into 3 into 10 power 8 10 power 8 by V so cross multiply JC V Y plus the Motundi V is equal to tell me yeah 3 into 3 into 10 power 8 into 3 by 2 by 2 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 so so we cancel the 3 and the 3, we get 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second. So option D is equal to correct. Very good. Next, refractive index N21. It means refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium. Refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium. So relative refractive index of a medium is equal to Refractive index of that medium to the refractive index of another medium. So answer B is correct. N2 by N1. The mutual image of distance high objects causes the optical illusion is called. So what is optical illusion? Yeah, very good. It is the mirrors. 
So mirages are the optical illusion. We have seen in summer on the road there, at a distance we have seen water is appears, but when you go there, there we cannot find water that is known as mirages. Then the angle of critical angle of diamond is it is 24.4 degrees, very low value. That is one micrometer is equal to 10, yeah, very good, one 10 power minus six meters. Then the angle of refraction for critical angle is angle of refraction, R value Kavala for the critical angle is, you know that at at the critical angle, at the critical angle, the light ray grazes the interface, the grazes the interface. So the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. Angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. Number of telephone signals transmitted through the optical fibers. Tell me. Yeah, very good, 2000, 2000, next one. The relation between refractive index, refractive index and optical density, relation between refractive index and optical density, tell me, these two are directly proportional to each other, directly proportional to each other, means if the optical density is high, Refractive index is also high, then the speed of light becomes low. So these two are directly proportional to each other. Optical density refractive index then the speed of light becomes decrease. Next bit on the screen. The refractive index of the medium decreases. Refractive index of the medium. Decrease of okay. refractive index increases speed of light m you know that in refractive index n is equal to c by v n is equal to c by v c is constant therefore n is inversely proportional to n is Inversely proportional to 1 by V, 1 by V. So that means refractive index and speed of light are inversely proportional to each other. That means if N value, refractive index increase, speed will be decrease. So option C is correct. Option C is correct. Next question on the screen. The factor on which refractive index depends Refractive index depends on, tell me. So refractive index depends on nature of the material. Nature of the material, nature of the material. Sorry, does not depend. My question is given, does not depend. So yeah, what is the question? The factor on which the refractive index does not depend. So it is density, option is density. Next question on the screen, the unit of refractive index, unit of refractive index. So already I say N is equal to C by V. It is the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in the given medium. So since it is the ratio of two same quantities, it has no units because the speed of light in vacuum is meters per second. Similarly, speed of light in the given medium is also meters per second. Both will cancel, so it becomes no units. Hence, we say refractive index is a dimensionless quantity. Dimensionless quantity. Next one, ma. 
if the angle of incident is greater than the critical angle angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle so what is given i is greater than r i is greater than c angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle then what happens tell me very good total internal reflection takes place total internal reflection takes place if i is less than i if i is less than sorry is equal to c next if i is less than of c these three condition there are three conditions so i greater than c angle of incidence greater than critical angle ate total internal reflection jarugutundi i less than c angle of incidence in incidence is less than the critical angle ate refraction takes place then if the angle of incidence is equal to angle of critical angle you rendu equal aithe em avutundi the refracted ray em avutundi graces the interface this three are most important then patient stomach can be used by inserting dash 5 so to use the internal organs of the human body we have to insert a light pipe which works on the principle of total internal reflection so in a glass slab refraction takes place so glass slab lo so it has two parallel opposite surfaces two parallel opposite surfaces so refraction takes place at each surface hence two parallel opposite surfaces hence two times refraction takes place then the distance between the incident and emergent rays incident and emergent ray is called tell me yeah very good it is the lateral shift it is the lateral shift of the next mirage is what is mirage mirage is tell me yeah very good optical illusion optical illusion then brilliance of diamonds brilliance of diamonds diamond tala tala merustu untai vajralu enduku due to total internal reflection total internal reflection so to, brilliance of diamonds formation of mirage and working principle of optical fibers etc are on the basis of total internal reflection next angle of incident is angle of incident is that of the angle of refraction tell me it may be greater than or it may be less than it is not equal it is not equal so if it is equal there is no refraction takes place so i never equal to r i anedhi not equal to r it never equal to r if it is not never equal to r if it is equal to r equal aithe em avutundi no refraction takes place next one refractive index of water is approximately 4 by 3 4 by 3 it is 4 by 3 so if you divide 4 by 3 we get yeah when we good answer c 1.33 the angle of incident is 60 degrees i is equal to 60 i is equal to 60 then the angle of refraction is r is equal to 30 then the refractive index refractive index n is equal to n tha n kanukkola tell me what is the relation between these three quantities yeah very good n is equal to n 
is equal to sin i by sin r sin i by sin r so sin i sin 60 tell me how much sin 60 so root 3 by 2 root of 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 by sin r tell me yeah sin 30 1 by 2 sin 30 1 by 2 So if you calculate this, we get the answer. Option C is the correct. Very good. If the critical angle is forty-five degrees, C is not. Oh, it is the critical angle C. Then the refractive index N is equal to N can call. Uh, what is the relation between these two? Tell me. Yeah, very good. Sin C is equal to one by N. Sin C is equal to one by n. One by n. So sin forty-five is equal to n. Tomorrow, tell me, yeah, that sin forty-five is equal to one by root to two. One. One by root to two. That is equal to one by n. One by n. So therefore, n is equal to root to two. N becomes root to two. Root to value is one point four one four. Very good. Option D is correct. Then the angle, the deviation of light ray from its original path when it travels from one medium to another medium is. Tell me, deviation light ray from one medium to another medium. Tell me, yeah, it is refraction. Why does refraction takes place due to change in speed of light? So, due to change in speed of light, it deviates from its original path. It nothing but bending of the light ray is known as refraction. Next one, speed of light in denser medium is v1. Denser medium is v1, and rarer medium is v2. Which of the following is correct? Speeds so in denser medium due to optical density the speed of light is less than the speed of light in rarer medium so v one is less than v two so denser medium lo speed of light takuva ga untundi rarer medium lo speed of light ekuva ga untundi yeah to explain the process of refraction we need to know about tell me. So refractive index, we have to know refractive index. If there is two medium have same refractive index, no refraction takes place. If two mediums have different refractive index indices, then only the refraction takes place. So to explain the process of refraction, we need to know about the refractive index. then dimensionless quantity dimensionless quantity means which has no units which of the following yeah very good refractive index is the dimensionless quantity that is it has no units why it is the ratio of speeds of two same quantity that is ratio of speeds so when refractive index of medium is high n value high unity then the speed of light in that medium is yeah very good to tell me low that is refractive index n is inversely proportional to n is inversely proportional to speed anamata oka dani kokati inversely proportional to if n is high v is low that is if n is low v is high then the refractive index of medium depends refractive index of medium depends tell me what yeah very good nature of the material and also 
wave length hence the option e is both a and b both a and b that is option c is correct so refractive index of medium depends upon the wave nature of the material and also wave length anamata next one my relation between angle of incident and the angle of refraction i q r ko relation a me tell me yeah very good sin i by sin r is equal to constant which is known as snell's law it is snell's law then the light travels from rarer to denser rarer to denser the medium the relation between r and i is so rarer to denser rarer lo speed ekku ga untundi denser lo speed takku ga untundi hence when it comes enter into denser medium it bends towards the normal so refracted angle is less than that of the incident angle hence the option here is option b is correct so light ray enter from rarer to denser denser le question ipudu em avutundi due to decrease in speed bends towards the normal so the refracted angle is less than the incident angle so i greater than r similarly when light ray travels from denser to rarer denser nunchi rarer le question em avutundi ma speed increase avutundi speed increase avutundi ga em avutundi light ray bends away from the normal away from the normal hence the angle of refraction becomes more than the angle of incident or is greater than i then the total internal reflection occurs when the, rel- the relation between angle of incident and the critical angle is so when the angle of incident is greater than the critical angle then only a total internal reflection takes place so option i is correct option a is correct so in this conditions only total internal reflection takes place when incident angle is more than the critical angle then em avutundi it never enter into rarer medium but it reflects into the same medium known as total internal reflection if i less than see what happens only refraction takes place that means the light ray enter into the rarer medium if i is equal to see what happens the refracted ray graces the interface graces the interface then then the at critical angle of incident at critical angle of incident the angle of refraction is so at the critical angle of incident refracted angle em avutundunnamma refracted ray graces the interface graces the interface hence the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees then n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r tell me yeah very good it is snell's law it is snell's law then speed of light in vacuum is tell me yeah you are correct that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second speed of light in vacuum is nodu next one total internal reflection takes place when light ray propagates from dash to dash so total internal reflection jaragalante in conditions two conditions cheptunnam total internal reflection ter it total internal reflection jaragalante em cheppu so two conditions first condition em the light ray must travel from denser to rarer medium you are next second option tell me second condition yeah the angle of incident is greater than the angle of critical critical angle so to under the total what are the conditions for total internal reflection first condition the light must travel from denser to rarer medium second condition angle of incident is greater than the critical angle these two conditions are most important then next bit on the screen the refractive index of transparent medium is 3 by 2 given then the speed of light in that medium yeah it is repeated question which is nothing but 2 into 10 power 
then mirage is an example of tell me what is the total internal reflection mirage is an example of total internal reflection so okay thank you for watching my video i wish you all the best once again i request you to share subscribe and watch my videos regularly without any break and subscribe my channel i wish you all the best thank you